Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work, and today I'm going to give you five things I hate about the PS4 and five things that I love. Now, instead of me giving you a review, I figured this would be much better for you to pick out certain things and decide, should I get myself a PS4? Because really, spending only three or four days is not going to give you a full review for a device you're going to spend $400 for and use for a very long time. So, let's talk about the five things I hate about the PS4. So, one of the things I don't like is the app switching. It's not as smooth as you expect, and even though I can go from the menu here and jump straight into Killzone, a game, that is always set. But if I were to go back from kill zone and say I wanted to switch over to, let's go here to Hulu Plus, I have to end my kill zone gameplay. So that's something that it doesn't do multitasking very well. So I can't have two applications running at the same time. So something I have to do and something I do not like. So there we are, we have Hulu and it still has to load up. Now, the second aspect of this is Blu-ray playback. That is the second thing I do not like about the PS4. It is still clunky. You can check out our Blu-ray playback in the sense that uh, playback video. It takes a lot of time. It kind of load, loads. It takes a while to load. Some people have complained that um, you know some Blu-rays just don't work. All my Blu-rays have worked, but they've taken their time to actually load and play. Even though the player itself works well, but that's still something which the PS3 did very well and the PS4 still hasn't done well. Now, continuing with that whole sense of Blu-ray playback, second, uh, the third thing is the lack of MP3 support and DLNA. So PS3 was my, my, uh, my hub for my DLNA and I can stream content left and right. Can't do that with PS4 yet. So that's something that's important. Sony says it's coming, but I don't like that. So it's in the hate, I hate call, call it for me. And uh, the fourth one is load time. So I've talked about load times in, in Blu-ray playback. There's also load times in the first initiation of a game, which I can't show you right now on screen. But say for instance, with Killzone, I can jump back into Killzone anytime I want, which is great. But the first time I loaded the, load the game up to play, it literally takes me roughly about a minute for it to load. And I understand it does a lot of things in the background uh, for you, but that's something I do not like. So hopefully that is fixed. And finally, the poor multimedia integration. Now with the PS4, uh, Sony, you expect them to have a better multimedia grasp, especially the fact that Sony has so many music, so many movies, and so on and so forth. Everything is a little bit disjointed. You have your TV and video here, uh, where you have all these different applications, and it's just one app to another. And then you have Sony Music and uh, Sony Videos here separately. So there's no pure integration of that. And Sony has given us a full package of what their whole service should be. Yes, the PS4 is all about games, but Sony, you also have a large music catalog and movie catalog. And make that more seamless so that I can actually enjoy that on my PS4. So those are the five things that I didn't like. Now let's talk about the five things that I loved about the PS4. First off is the console controller, as you can see, and the console itself. The console is slick, it's nice, it's sexy. I'm gonna pan down there to the console on the floor. It's a good looking console and the controller also fits very well. It's probably the best places controller I've held and I really do like this controller. The touchpad, a little, huh? we'll see how that goes, uh, but at least you can use it with Killzone, uh, Shadowfall. But I do like the, the, the console look and the controller. It's much smaller than the Xbox One and definitely the same size as the Xbox 360. Uh, second thing that I do like is the new interface. I like the interface for two things. It's fast. It's snappy. It's way better than what we have with the PS3. And you see, I can move through anything I want to with ease without any stress. I can go in and check my friends out and see what I have here. And I can jump back out with ease. I can jump into kill zone and I can jump back out of kill zone. So I can do that with ease. And I love that fact for the in interface. The next thing I do like is PlayStation Plus. Yes. Yes, the ability for you to actually play online multiplayer, even though you have to pay for PlayStation Plus, I do like the fact that it actually gives you dedicated servers and things like that. And also the cost right now is actually cheaper than what you should get with the Xbox, Xbox Live. So I do like that and I welcome that into the PlayStation family. Um, so that, that was the third thing. Now the fourth thing, of course, is games. Uh, and just looking at uh, Killzone here, I'll show you. Games look great. You can see how the games are. They run at 1080p and they've done a very good job here. You can see the texture. Just look around. This is just pan around here. Let me zoom a little bit more for you. 
so you guys can take a good look at that and let's run around this world the games look good the games look great and they only will get better so that's one of the great things i love about uh playstation uh for the ps4 and the fifth thing i love about this is sharing if i just hit the sharing button this gives me an option to upload videos. I can upload it if I want to, share on Facebook, or I could broadcast live. And I'm doing that right now. And I can pick between Twitch and Ustream. I'm just gonna go with Ustream because I have a Ustream account, it's Border Work, and we can start broadcasting. So immediately while I'm gaming, I was gaming. You can basically check this out, grab, continue my gameplay, and move on. So you get the idea, and I do like this, and I think this is a great addition, and this basically says a lot about what the PlayStation 4 is and why you know this is a console to definitely pick up. So um, those are my five things that I hate and five things I love about the PlayStation uh, 4. You know, where will I put this console? I really like the console. I mean, I'm not a PlayStation fan, but I really like what Sony has done, and I applaud what they're doing. Hopefully they can get it seamless and together as in one full piece and we can see all the things that didn't like be flushed out and of course this takes time in the console generation altogether so if you guys have any questions or any comments about uh five things i hate or five things i love about the ps4 or just the ps4 in general let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube it's border work with two o's this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment